And who here? Welcome to more of Tales of Magic. Satanland? Skateland? But, the year is 2005 now, which at this point the Nintendo DS has finally come out now. So, of course, they actually get DS ports of. Yeah, they had to make a DS port as well. So, don't worry, you're not gonna hear this screwed up music right now. Alright, here we go. I mean, Wookie or Bro. I don't know what the difference is, so obviously I'm gonna pick Bro, obviously, because. And of course, just like the past years, we got Nick own character, which. Honestly, isn't really that good. The only trees are like we set heads, like heads, bodies, and the legs. So I don't know, it's quiet because we got cuts in here. Sweet! That was a sick run, kid. You tore this competition apart. Man, the way you ride, you should head out to the West Coast where the skate scene is really going off. You could take things to a whole new level. Hey, me and my crew are heading back to California right now. We got one scene open on the bus. You want to go on a little road trip? Here we are in Hollywood, CA. This is a serious skate town. If you hang with the locals, you'll definitely pick up some new tricks. Listen. I gotta head out to a photo shoot. Hang here and I'll be back to check on you later. No way! Was that Tony Hawk? You must have some major skills if you're hanging with him. Hi, I'm Mindy, local skate chick. So how about it? Let's see what you got. Yeah, I like those cool little comic book act like cutscenes there. We like how... Um... We like how... Um... Mindy, uh, as she looks in this game. It is the game. I like it better than the cons version, honestly. Oh, it looks kind of a bit cuter, honestly. Yeah, the, the sword here is basically the same as it was in the GBA version, except it's much more fleshed out for sure. So I can talk about it more. And yeah, we're starting Hollywood again. We've got Hollywood, Beverly Hills, downtown, uh, downtown LA, the Pan Skate Park is here. If we turn a good yeah, skate shop here. Yeah, just like in Game of Thrones games, we can customize our board. I say we can, it's a lot better considering, you know, this is DS, yeah, so we can use a touch screen to draw stuff on it. And we can make our own graffiti too. Which is cool, I guess, again. And you can even make your custom sounds for your skater. A DS microphone. Uh boss. So yeah, that's cool. You can like record your own special unveil sounds, which is nice. So, so here at the first goal, Mindy here, which all this is is just it's going around the whole of Hollywood, going to each market here. Yeah, my quest game looks bloody ridiculous, honestly. The quest game skin is not really that good. I mean, it's obviously better than GBA version, but. And again, all you have to choose we are preset heads, torsos, and legs, and that's about it. So yeah, Tony Hawk is finally alive on the DS. Now compared to the Game Boy Advance, which they were like, uh, two, three, four, I know we are not two. Well, they were like six Game Boy Advance style games. Seven you count Disney Extreme Game Adventure. Is there? Is there like three? D Tony Hawk DS. There's only like three Tony Hawk games for the DS. Obviously, American Skateland, Downhill Jam, and Proving Ground. Well, you know, Project 8 never really got got some sort of DS port, which is a bit weird, but. Eh, we'll get to that later when I get to that game, but. Yeah. So, yeah. And this is what I'm more talking about. The DS can definitely handle. The DS can definitely handle 3D 
graphics way better than the Game Boy Advance could, so... Oh, yeah, this week out as well. So, yeah, no. Wrong with you. So, these poor, these poor, the, yeah, these poor folks are finally matching sort of same, same level graphics as like the PS1 games, which is pretty cool. Alright, maybe I'll get two magazines from Midi here. Basically, teach us how to Ollie in there. Oh, yeah, just, just kind of. So, so. Sort of, Go see. This is. A, this is kind of look like if Bonjour. American Wasteland was poured on the place that you want. It's pretty cool. And yeah, the NPCs are sort of voice acted. They just got one lines and that's it. I oh, just wants to do some bit tricks. Okay. But yeah. Superb. Superb. And we quiet again because this is where the game plays Bonjour. another. What a sunny day. Okay, it's hard to just go, sorry. But yeah. So, of course, we'll do some grad tricks. Yeah, <laughs> that. That was a custom sound, basically. I just put my microphone onto a white noise, but yes, you can record your own sounds in the microphone. Okay, I'll be quiet this time because we got a cutscene coming up. Let's see what Mindy's up to. Check you out! Nice! It looks like you've gotten better. Those moves are out of control. Tony Hawk? Oh my gosh! I just have three words to say. Unbelievable! Hi, I'm Mindy. Huge fan. Oh, thanks. Hey, those sketches you're drawing are pretty good. Are those for a magazine or something? Actually, they're from my own skate comic I'm hoping to get published one day. It's gonna be called American Skateland. I'm naming it after one of my favorite skate parks. American Skateland? I know that place, but I thought it got demolished years ago. It's still around? It sure is. You wanna check it out? Definitely. Let's hit it. It's pretty run down. But it has a cool vibe. Well, it should. The place is legendary. It's one of the first skate parks ever. I remember Rodney Mulling doing one of his first kickflips right there. I used to practice new lip tricks right here myself on that quarter pipe. Even the legendary Z-Boys used to shred here. Wow. I had no idea this old place had so much history. Yeah, I also used to wipe out right there. And there. 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 And there. Man, it's too bad this place got so trashed. It used to look so sweet. Well, what if we fixed it up? Got it looking like it did back in the day. That's a good plan. We can gather up some of this wood and put together a piece for the park right now. After we build this piece, you and I should start making money and talking to other pros around California. It can turn this place into the killer skate spot it used to be. So yeah, instead of turning Iggy Skate Ranch to the ultimate skate park, we're trying to get... We build this old warehouse, which is apparently called America's Skateland, and turned it into the ultimate skate park. So yeah, like I said, unlike the cons version, there's no Iggy, no Murphy, no Lucy Day, no Boone, thank god. Mindy's still, still here, which I also think was one of the few cars actually liked in that game. Yeah, there's no Skateland, we just got a skateboard warehouse, which... Alright, let's do this. Honestly, well, we're we'll gonna see there. Well, oh. honestly, I think how the skate land warehouse was turned at the end is. I like it a bit. I like it a lot more than the game like this, so. That so, yeah. Sick, yeah. So, obviously, yeah. since we're beginning the game, the game teaches us the, right, the simplest mechanics this. here, like tours and the manual. Now, it teaches us how to grind. Pretty simple. So yeah, so for the DS version, obviously we could do F sick, yo. F and we could like the Pro Skate games, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, show me something. Yeah, so what you can, you can obviously still wall plan. Although you can't get off your board for some reason. Yeah, you can't get off your board and walk around. You are stuck to your board. Which uh, kind of sucks, but again, I'm not going to cry over it. I never really got off my board anyway in the Game Boy Advance game, so... Yeah, that's just a span transfer. Alright, show me something. I do find the 
Physics in this day is getting a tad heavy, not gonna lie. Like, you barely get any air off the ground. Whoa, but. Hey, I'll still take this over. Show me something interesting. Okay, now let's teach us how to sketch. Which, whatever. So, yeah, so. If I. Hey, I mean, the DS version of really American great. Skate Land kind of. It's honestly surprisingly Show similar to, like, Full Skate 4. You go. So you go for every level doing a, a bunch of goals and no same. Yeah. And yeah, graffiti's still a thing. So what you just go in DSO so you just got come up to a standstill and <laughs> do the graffiti, so yeah. Anyway. Yo, that was really great. Hey, you kind of tend to do bonk around everywhere. Also, and then the controversies, which hey, kind of annoying. Way. Take a look at what I got for you. All right, now let's teach us how to do combos. It's okay. Hey, you're crazy. So yeah, also, the touch screen is like the main game. On the bottom screen, we got actually got a map. A map of what the. Take a look at what I got for you. Double level is, which is also very helpful for when you need to collect a bunch of things, as it will show on the map. So. I have no idea what that's, hey, that was. So, yeah. To track that, I like to do a certain amount of goals, kind of like the GBA. Well. Hey, we have tension. Yeah, kind of like in a game. No. As you do a certain amount of goals, the uh, full scale will, will pop up. I need to do his goal, and then you get another piece of the warehouse, and you unlock the next area. So, yeah. Yeah, and that eye, and that eye on the ball left of the touch screen. Yeah, that's a focus mode, really. It's still here. Kid, check it out. I know you saw it there, but you saw it on the bar Easy. right there with like the Tony Hawk silhouette down there. That's where you can do you your special me here? moves by like touching down the touch screen. And I don't know why you can still do special tricks in the old fashioned way by just doing two directions and then button, so I don't why. It's not like they force you to do special tricks with a touch screen, thank god. Thank god, we're still not spinning on fire hydrants. I am so sick of this. Yeah. Hey, pay attention. And for every goal we do, also you get a, a bunch of bit of money here. Let's also see. Yeah, see some stuff with this guy with guy. Never be found without this for at all. Yeah. Alright, so all the goal's done. Let's talk to hey, P Watt here again. And basically teach us how to do this special tricks where I can't just explain. So you can either do it the old fashioned way or you can do it by touching the silhouette on the touch screen there. Oh yeah. So I own you. There you go, now that we've done the push get a go here. Yeah, it'll take us to this warehouse to buy another peaceful of Peaceful warehouse, 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 and it was next there. Yeah, so every time you buy a skate piece, you got like three options here. You got like the, the cheapest one, most expensive one, or like the middle one here. This score gives us like options. That's something the the cons version or the G-Rich version you got. But anyways, we're heading out to Beverly Hills again. Yo, that piece you added to the warehouse with Paul's help should make a killer line. I just heard that another pro, Mike V, is in downtown LA. I'm gonna go try to find him and tell him what we've got going on. You guys rip it up here in Beverly Hills and keep an eye out for Day One's song. You can usually find him around here. Two things he loves, skateboarding and playing practical jokes on stuffy Beverly Hills snobs. Ha <laughs> ha that's classic. After we hook up with Day One, we'll hop on a bus and meet you downtown. Later, Tony. Let's roll.
No, yeah. So yeah, unlike the console version or the GBA version, it gives you some sort of customization right, of your warehouse, which is pretty cool. So yeah, now we're in Beverly Hills, so hopefully we can also get a bit more creative here. That was sick, yeah. So we got obviously got those twig signs here, which obviously do like a line sort of thing All right, there. Show me something. Alright, what do you want to do? Do a failure heel flip over the gap. Oh, that was a little bit off control in this game, because it was the design for the DS, which only had the D pad. So. Bad. Right, to be fair, I've something. seen plenty of people play Tony Hawk with just a D pad. I always personally play with a thumbstick, but hey, it's not even one how you play it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and now we got go on Twix Twist again. Shove it. Or not. Can never get the the blood slide guys to activate reliably. Whoa, dude! Whoa, whoa, dude! Yeah. All right. Now it was to loot trick on the ledges up there. Okay. But yeah. That was sick, yo. Yeah. Personally, I think the story in. The DS version scan. It it's honestly way better than the console. It's not as mean spirited, and that's it's actually kind of like da more down to earth and more, you know, just more chill, which I always like seeing. For I want to see people being ch chill, have a cool, fun time in tile games. I want my cow to add like a complete dumbass all the time, or everyone else just to add like a major dick to you. So I say, what? And. Yeah, I think I can say it. I like I like the DS version of American Skyland a lot more compared to the hey, cons version of American Wasteland. It actually focuses more on more on skaters that do some wacky crap that's got no do skating. And the story is actually much better than the cons version, so Easy. Yeah, I think You can't see me here? I don't know, I think it's the the first time, at least on, on the Studio channel, where the portable version is actually better than the console version, which is surprisingly ironic. Easy. Yeah, I mean, maybe a bit simple, but at least it's. I get no respect. <laughs> Ollie, is that you? I don't know. I don't know. It's just all the garbage, man. Sheesh. I got. Gr Get switch six trash cannot switch. Could do a switch, but give me a ride. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm also part of this game actually it looks really good for Nintendo DS. Yes. No I think it holds up pretty well. Alright. Again go on six or something. And these collect some these collectible gold, see how much better, because as you have a map on the bottom. Oh, I can't wait to ride that thing. Bottom is great. Murphy? What's that? Okay, yeah. For some reason, one of the persons the NPC had is Murphy saying, Oh, yeah, I can't wait to ride that thing when he sees a smash Donald head. So, yeah, so apparently, some of these NPCs sound like Murphy. For some reason. So I like to pretend that this is just Murphy in disguise. <laughs> he, I see, look, he's just oh, like. Man, I can't wait to ride that thing. What saying things like what thing? Yeah, we still got combo letters here. And I can't screw that up. Never. Did it again, and there we go. Show me something interesting. All right here, we have this bimbo here. And he wants to do uh, 30,000 points score. Really easy. And the best way to get scores out again is like do a small special combined or really great. do like a 720 special no grad trick. 
fucking fish. Show me something interesting. Okay, talk to you. No. And do if we go, that's worth 500 points. We just sort of for same sort of crap we did in Underground 2 the Game Boy Fast, so. Not only how we just came yeah, back. It's, really great. it's just another high score goal disguise if we get going. Hey, day one Solon is here. So yeah, we'll see day one Solon once in the next episode. So it's Morgan Who, and I'll see you next time on the DS version of American Skateland. I'll see you later, guys.